Two armed security guards targeted. Three suspects are still out there. So is a lot of cash. It all happened in Chambersburg. Seth Kaplan reports. It's like a shock. That's a lot to take in. A private security company is conducting a money pickup from a local business, uh, which is a laundromat. This spot laundromat in the Southgate Shopping Center west of downtown Chambersburg about 1 o'clock Monday afternoon. There are PA skill games inside. Those are where the cash came from. Three suspects wearing hooded sweatshirts, gloves, and masks exited the van and held two security the two security officers at gunpoint. Uh, one security officer was assaulted. Hit over the head with a firearm, taken to the hospital. He is expected to recover. The other security officer was forced to turn over all the money containers held in the van. Police say they still don't know exactly how much money was in those containers, but they know it was a lot. The suspects drove east from there across I-81. My detectives, in cooperation with the Pennsylvania State Police, canvassed those locations and were able to locate some of the uh, empty cases that were stolen during the robbery. Ditched here around where Franklin Farm Lane meets Walker Road. Those cases are currently being processed for evidence. But those containers dropped around here are the last physical trace police have of the suspect. Now they want to know where's the cash that was in the containers, where's the vehicle, and where are the suspects who are driving it? I actually called in additional personnel to help out with uh, some other cases. Um, that are going on so that our detectives can concentrate on this case. And if I need to bring in more um, officers to help the detectives, I will certainly do that. Alan Butler, who lives nearby, unnerved, but feeling police are doing what they can. They're working hard and diligently right now to figure out what happened and who was involved. One piece of good news for neighbors like him. It appears to be a targeted crime of violence and the general public is not at risk. In Franklin County, Seth Kaplan, ABC 27 News.